Well, good afternoon. I've got a few updates for you regarding the ongoing investigation into Noel Rodriguez Alvarez. First, I want to talk about the physical ground searches. Since the start of this investigation, investigators have partnered with two incredible organizations. That includes Texas EquiSearch and Texar, otherwise known as Texas Search and Rescue. Thanks to the assistance of these volunteer-based organizations, we have successfully searched and cleared numerous tracts of land totaling over 500 acres. These searches have included nearby wooded areas, creeks, ponds, drainage culverts, construction sites, and more. These teams consist of experts, expert trained volunteers with specialized equipment and resources including drones, infrared cameras, LIDAR, human remain detection canines, horses, and even rescue boats. The searches conducted over the past weekend did lead to the recovery of some items within the search area. However, it is unclear at this time whether those items are specifically related to the disappearance of Noel. Nevertheless, these items have been collected by crime scene technicians and are being processed in a lab for confirmation. As to not cause any sort of undue speculation on the case, we're not sharing any specifics related to those items that were collected until lab tests confirm whether or not they are associated with this case. I want to make sure that I highlight the importance of these searches even when minimal or no physical evidence is located, each and every search is valuable in successfully moving this investigation forward. At this time, investigators are continuing to analyze data to determine if and where any additional searches may be conducted. Prior to the most recent search, I had expressed that investigators were focusing heavily on analyzing the tremendous amount of data that has been collected as a part of this investigation. This work continues as investigators continue to have data come in. There is simply some data that I cannot go into details on in order to protect the integrity of the investigation and in order to ultimately seek justice that Noel deserves. However, I do want to share that this data analysis has been incredibly important to this investigation. The data has supported Noel's disappearance, most likely occurred near the last week of October 2022, approximately six months ago. Additionally, financial records indicated that the plane tickets to India for Cindy, Arshdeep, and all six children were purchased on a credit card belonging to Arshdeep. Investigators also noticed an abnormally large cash deposit into Arshdeep's bank account. This deposit took place on March 22nd, just hours before fleeing the country. Through data analysis, investigators learned that Arshdeep had paid a visit to one of his places of employment prior to making that cash deposit. Arshdeep had access to the company's safe as a part of his normal job responsibilities. Investigators learned that Arshdeep first fraudulently altered the company's cash deposit records, likely in order to prevent detection, and then removed over $10,000 in cash from the company's safe, traveled to the nearest bank, and deposited $8,000 of that cash into his own personal account. We have now obtained an additional warrant for the arrest of Arshdeep for felony theft. We are going to be sharing a still image with you today of Arshdeep making that deposit. Today marks one month since the initial Amber Alert for this case was issued. Since then, this investigative team has spent thousands of man hours on this case, have followed more than 70 leads, issued more than two dozen search warrants, arrest warrants, and subpoenas, and conducted countless interviews. This investigation has taken us across state and country borders. Investigators have worked to compile a mountainous amount of information, data, and evidence in this case, and we continue to build that today. Each and every single day, we get closer and closer to the answers that we all seek. Although it has been a month and we have not yet found Noel, rest assured that we have not stopped the fight, not even close. We will continue to fight for Noel until we have the answers that we need. And I want to thank everybody for your overwhelming amount of support that this team has received during the course of this investigation. We know and understand how important this case is to the community and stand by our promise to do everything that we can in this case.